The Edinburgh Fringe Festival is a big deal. It's actually the biggest festival in the world, and it's one of the oldest too. With performances across all genres, but focused on comedy, how will we, as music festival veterans, get on? This week, join us in the gorgeous city of Edinburgh as we see if we can take our music festival experience and transfer that onto something a little bit different. We've wanted to try something new for a little while. Car festivals, food festivals, comedy festivals. But why not start in the deep end with one of the most famous festivals in the world? You're about to see us laugh, cry, dance, and of course, get hammered in the process. We are TPD TV. Let's get ready to laugh. Here we f***ing go. It's the real deal. Patreon supporters, thank you so much for being here week in, week out to support TPD TV. We can't do this without you. If you want to join now, you get access to the Discord if you want to have a chat with us. Early access and extended cuts of all these videos. And new and exclusive videos, including one coming soon where me and Mary go and see our dad's favourite band. Lots of love. Thank you so much again. Now on with the show. Morning, Dad. Morning. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I don't know how to feel about this one. Hopefully we'll have a good laugh, because it is comedy. I tell you, we'll be laughing. The viewers watching our hilarious content. Week exactly. in, week out. Just like this. Free on YouTube. What's that top? M&M one. That's good, isn't it? It's vintage. Oh, looks fake. Here's a top tip for you if you don't want to feel like a greasy sack of potatoes after eating a Mackey's breakfast. Just get the fruit bag instead of the hash brown. Just cleanses you out. Job done. Ben's here as well, unfortunately. Hi, Ben. The viewers are like, who's that new member of TPD? So it's Fringe Festival today. And we've booked some things that are going to really put us out of our comfort zone. It's going to be very funny, I think. But does anybody else get this where you know you've got to be up early? Or you know you're doing something big, like the next day. And then you just can't get to sleep because of the pressure of knowing you need sleep. Because that happened to me last night and I was up. Well, I was up till about two. And then I woke up again at half four and I just couldn't get back to sleep. It happens every time we're doing something. You alright, darling? God, I really hate it. a fucking electric door. Just give me a normal stick lock where I know what the crack is. Right, we have arrived in Edinburgh, one of the nicest cities in the entire world, with one of the most expensive kebabs you can buy. We can't check into our accommodation until three, so we've got to put our bags in one of those bag storage things, which I've never used before. It's time to go to our hotel for the weekend. Now, Ben's booked this. It's really good, mate. It's really um, well maintained. I think we want to be fiscally responsible, so I've got some accommodation. It's Kept in good working order. Very good value. You try and stay here for Edinburgh Fringe. It's very expensive. Great. Yeah. Welcome to studio. Oh. Flat party. Oh, shit, it's great. Flat party at house tonight. Yeah. yeah. It's just nice and cosy now. Oh, I like an old barrack. This. Great. That's cosy. That this bit. Is, do you know what? It's economical. We've saved literally hundreds of pounds. Right, Ben. Who we have to see first? I'm tired of this endless work. It's time to take a break in Hero Wars. Hero Wars Every day I am playing Feel stress Hero Wars Chaos Hero Wars Screw, Screw them, them all I am slaying Feel stress Hero Wars recommend giving it a try. All right, Ben. Thanks for that. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go set our room up now. Let's go. Get out of this loser's room. You were just in my fucking bed. Very nice. Just yeah. standard uni halls, like, which is a good vibe to be back in. Are you having the bed? Where are you going to sleep? Huh? Where are you, are you sleeping in the shower? No, but we're at a festival, aren't we? Yeah, there's no other bed. Oh my god. I'm doing a festival. Oh my this. god. Lucky me. I got about two hours sleep last night and it's not even the tiredness that's been zapping me, it's the headache and just, you know how it is when you've barely slept. So in order for me to have a good night tonight and not leave early, I've been to Boots, I bought some dry or tired eye drops, they've worked wonders. Barocas, I'm halfway through and I feel like it's helped. Neuromol, paracetamol and ibuprofen together and I already feel a lot better, I've got changed, freshened up, settled into the room with my dormy. Spring break. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good night. I can hear my other flatmates being quite inconsiderate and playing the music loud. I should go knock on their door and complain really. 
I've got school. All right, we've had a little freshen up. We've got ready in this student accommodation that we're in with the world's tiniest bed. See if you can notice this on the video. I think Mary and Rob are getting a bit mad because they're sleepy. That'll be fun for tonight while me and Ben do our own thing and let them bicker. But yeah, just see if you can pick up on that because I think they're mad. And I think... Yeah, see if you can pick up on that because I think they're a little bit mad. Getting ready again in a student bathroom apartment really takes you back as a woman in her late 20s. It just feels good. I feel revived, energised and back to my youth. Come in. Fucking hell, you don't know what I'm looking like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Why is there a He's being mongy on bed. That's not like him, are you? I'm tired, I'm crushing it. Hey, hey, look out over here. Viewers. Told you. Right then, student. We're gonna go meet the other flatmates. I'll never forget moving into uni. Is the people in I'm there? Not, yeah. And I think one of them's wearing a dressing gown. That's Henry. So we're going to the Cabaret of Filch tonight and I've read the bio and it's got drag. It seems a little bit cheeky, so we thought it'll be a nice fun little entertainment for the actor clip. <laughs> This is a Please. student hall. It even smells like you. This is a student hall if I've ever seen one. Oh, oh yes. God, I have not been in a student hall for ages. You know what this means, guys? Oh, no. <laughs> and you know what we can do tonight? Some of you out there know what this means. Will it slash? Three, two, one. <laughs> Let me see camera come, Chris. Give us a test. Right, we need to buy a bag of flour. Can I make this candy come? I think this is pretty much the main strip of it. It looks like it's all shops. It's very wide, very touristy. Some very pretty buildings here. Um, there's some street performers behind us. You can probably hear them. But we're going to take as many flyers as we can and just see what shit gets put in front of us because we ain't got a clue what's on because it's the fucking fringe. Who knows that any of the artists and comedians and stuff that's on? Nobody. I got my first one, but it's ticketing for something that's in like half an hour and I ain't even got my budget, yet, so not going. Right, we're here to collect our press passes. Now, I'm not sure what they get us, what I do know is they've got our photo on. We got the passes, they were very, very friendly in there. Kind of cool. Got the old job title on. I dread to think what them lot have got on theirs. What job title you got? Presenter. Let's have a look. <laughs> Oh, nice photo though. Yeah, I thought I picked an ugly one, no, so I'm pretty like happy that. with that. Cheers. Whoa, 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 whoa. guys, 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 this, this is not how I want the shot at all. Can you move over here on the angle behind? Thank you, no thank you. Right. Um, hi, job? I'm Daniel White. This is my job title. I am the lead camera director and operator for TVD TV. <laughs> <laughs> director and operator? Yeah, I do both, mate. I'm a man of many oh, sorts. What have you got? Every levels. Um, well, I just thought of did what I thought we were supposed to do. I'm just presenting. Oh, I copy basic ben. bitches. Oh, why don't you go cool? Yeah, no, it's very... Oh, oh, you getting a bit. I'm trying to film a bit for you, yeah. Oh, I thought I was filming you. I'm trying to get my quarter up. The Fringe, for those that don't know, is basically an entire city's worth of events. You can think of it as like a slam dunk in the city or like a live at Leeds kind of thing. Hundreds of different venues and thousands of different performers and it's all under the umbrella of Fringe. So we've got a press pass. We're going to see what we can get into. We can't get into everything with that. We're going to try and go to as many diverse things as possible. The first thing we're going to see is a band to ease us in because we like bands. I've seen loads of bands. I would tell you about when I went to see ACDC. That was good. And then we're going to try some comedy and some drag and some... What's Jewelama. Well, you can never say all to me again about no. leaving anything. Oh, we can. <laughs> yeah, but I will remind will. you of this moment. What, what did you just do? Left my bag in there. You silly, laptop silly in boy. What a fucking... I know, I know. you for that. Believe me, rightfully so. Do you know what reminded me? The fucking watch. God, I fucking hate bagpipes. You are dumb. No, they're very jarring, bagpipes. especially when you got an edit. That is one of the nicest sounds in the world. See, I mean, as somebody who gets incredibly annoyed by every little thing and sound, I'm surprised you like them. Me? <laughs> you? It's definitely not the nicest sound it's... in the world. But it, is, it isn't bad, as long as it's played well. If you had one, it'd be fucking atrocious. Yeah, how's piano coming along? It's coming along fantastically, <laughs> living yeah. at my mum's for a while. Because yeah. I thought I was going to play it there while I looked after her house when she went on holiday and I had a chance to bring it back. You didn't have the live story, mate. There's all this beauty here and you can't put your phone down. 
I need to be connected at all times, mate. I'll yes, just see. No, IT say, boy. Saying that, the signal here is bloody shite. Yeah, Scotland, innit? We're really far away from all the signal. There's a robot on the lawn! All right, ready for the Beach Boys. I'm ready for the Beach Boys. I think Mary might be ready for the Beach, for the, for the beach Boys, and I think you might be ready for the Beach Boys, but I think there's one person... You don't have a ticket, I right? don't have a ticket because I tried to use the website and it didn't work. Right, so we're in this lovely theatre for our first Edinburgh Fringe performance, and it is Pet Sounds, I think they're called. It's a Beach Boys tribute. I wonder if we're the only people in this room who've seen the real Beach Boys this year. They're called I... The Beached Boys. The Beached Boys. <laughs> I wonder who's going to be better, The Beached Boys or The Beach Boys. I mean, there's not much competition in it. Someone's going to comment, you haven't seen the real Beach Boys. Yeah, they were billed yeah. as the Beach Boys, yes we have. We're going to sing a song about the girls back home. I do have to say I enjoyed that more than the Beach Boys incarnation that we saw in America earlier this year. Pretty good. Beach Boys aren't really for me, but a, a strong start that. Strong start. I enjoyed it. Now this is my kind of brand activation. Bag of crisps. Just have a bag of crisps. <laughs> and these are the best standard crisps that money can buy. I'll tell you what, that pack right there, high that is some that firm beer. high quality packaging. I'm not going to eat it yet because I've got chewing gum in the mouth and it's not a beer, it doesn't mm, make it taste nice. Delicious. There's kind of too much choice here. We don't really know what to do or where to go, but I've got my bag of crisps, so I'm happy with that. The great thing about Edinburgh Fringe is they actually have a website full of all the acts and all the information you could need. One of the things they've got is a venue map, so you can just go on, it uses Google Maps platform. We don't know what to do, we've just arrived, we're looking for shit to do, so I'm like, right, I'm going to check out this map, have a look at this dynamic resizing of the venue icons. Whoa! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Come on guys, how am I supposed to know where to go? The website is the reason that we actually are just randomly looking for stuff. We all went on a call together and tried to use the Fringe website to book tickets for stuff, but the website is so broken that we couldn't do that, which was very annoying. Also, we did it yesterday. Yeah. Ready for your first taste of comedy? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be really, really good. Uh, nice and comfortable as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's like being on a Ryanair. <laughs> My ass don't fit in this seat. <laughs> Your hands together and welcome to our stage, our MC for the afternoon. It's me, Matt Wayne. <laughs> what I love about Ali, he's a one-word guy. <laughs> one word, that one. Are you good, Ali? <laughs> are you are you okay? Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's uh <laughs> This morning, <laughs> oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Hey. As you can tell from my face, <laughs> I think we should legalise prostitution. Oh. Yeah, my name is Sachin Kumar Andran, which is not the easiest name for comedy. My accent is a mix of Middlesbrough and Birmingham, and I think we can all agree. A match made in heaven, that is. What do you think, Mez? Very good. I'm just anxious as we go. I mean, you can't. Are we look, we're going to look rude. So it's hard to film that, and I guess that's what we're still learning, but some really funny stuff there, particularly that, that one guy. Um, really good. So the issue is we're late for our reservation at Bucks Bar now. That was enjoyable, that. Yeah. How much did you done it? Uh, we did 20 for both of us. What, each? No. no. Oh, combined. We did 10 for both of us combined. Yeah, I, think we'll, I think we'll go for 10 then next Five time. pound yeah. per Five person, innit? Yeah. Um, that was enjoyable. Let's get to this food and then we'll discuss further. Right, the food's right there. Oh, brilliant. Oh. So we've just been to uh, Hanover Place. They do a thing called Comedy 101, right? Every act gets 10 minutes and it's just like a cut down thing of their show. Pretty cool. We've seen, we saw four acts again and the MC. It was pretty cool. It's what Fringe is about, seeing new shit. It, you could really tell like the comedians have like cut down their acts. But you know what? Friday afternoon, we've done it, we've checked it out. I've got five flyers in my back pocket. 
Let's see where we end up next. I really like the cut down format. I thought it was just enough, little bite sized tasters, like little tapas. Do you know what? That was brilliant. I, I, um, I've never been to Booksmart before, yeah. and it's been a long while since I've had like a junk food like Satan burger. You could tell it was Satan, you can't, there's no getting around that, but the batter and the flavour. Honestly, I'm I'm a bit emotional about it. You that, was, across that, way. that was really nice. I found it the best way to describe us well. We're like dough because we need each other. Oh. Our homes are warm, loving environment like an oven, and also we're in bread. <laughs> We've got to collect things off weird people at this festival, so I'm going to go get another flyer off this person. Thank you. That is... Why is she blindfolded? Kinky. Oh, I thought it was Post Malone. Luckily, they've got four stars from these things that I've never heard of. I'd like to go to that cafe, but it's not really script, is it? <laughs> just got an uber to where we're coming in two hours the three sisters the plan is to just have a look around this area see what kind of fringe shit we can do here's something cool and interesting so obviously there's posters all over the fringe and fringe lasts for like a month not a beer poster here fringe lasts like a month so as it's going on and the shows get reviewed they just stick the reviews on and what's also interesting is dead inside like you at um book a pop in here? It says venue 61, yeah, it's it is. Venue. Yeah, this is a venue, isn't it? Any old venues, what I say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is what the people say. It's a good vibe up there, but it's um, it's theatre, and we're not really in the theatre mood. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and find some walk-in comedy and uh, see if we can have a laugh, and most importantly, a drink. Number 89. Come on, let's Does that not mean, does that mean we can't? That means don't disturb, because you'll disturb the show. There's one core issue that I'm going to really need someone to fix. I can't see my location, and I know the Google API has it, but I can't see my location on the Edinburgh fringe map. Now, Max at the venues doesn't tell me where I am, so I'm having to traverse, I'm having to, tra I'm having to traverse the Google Maps app that does show my location with the Edinburgh Fringe website that utilises the Google Maps API. Calm down, mate, calm down. Right. It's not good enough. Calm down. Why? Calm Just, down. It, it's, hey, in the, it's in the API. It's in the API. <laughs> It's lovely in here, isn't it? You're <laughs> like just buying your fucking tickets for the car. <laughs> oh, it's a little bad. So the cool thing about Fringe is you can pay what you can for so many shows and the base height is really low. So for this show, the minimum is five pounds. But a lot of them on this list are two pounds fifty. And that's a good way of making it accessible to everyone. But it's good to have the option to be able to support the artists a bit more if you can do that. Which I think is the spirit of art. That's us, we're tenants in a flat. <laughs> Right, for better or worse, we're going into the filthy cabaret. Right then. I mean, it definitely looks like a TV. What are we? What is Scottish? Don't go that. No, I'm really not. Not like those. Hey, there's another one to have mustaches. Time to shindig start. My view has been severely interrupted. Scale of one to ten, would you say, Chris? Nasty. Go crazy, go wild. This side of the ring, go up. This lad called Chris got chosen out of the audience to clean up like the stuff. And it's funny because camera cunt Chris used to clean up after Willett's life. Order. I'm just gonna say, like, a lot of loop to keep track of. Uh, there's no sex there, by the way, like in the BDSM dungeon. Like, a, that's kind of a misconception, I think. Like, in this place, no sex, no hand jobs, no blow jobs, just nipple twisting, cross dressing, pooping on people. <laughs> and I'm not used to this, man. I'm used to a more delicate touch, like a kitten pawing a yarn. <laughs> Look at me! I'm a hard dude with a soft dick! <laughs> I'm 
sorry. That you know what this lady, the comedian. This, oh, this lady, okay. fantastic, really funny, the highlight of the night. Very but much so. it was literally like if you got a bunch of ten-year-old boys together to do a sex-positive show. It was so cringe. Like there was a, a woman who sounded like Cartman, dressed up like a little boy with a fake cock hanging out of a whatever, saying, "I want to get hard. I want to get hard." It was just so not funny. It, really it missed wasn't the mark funny, on every wasn't. point. It, it was really it was one of the most no hate, but it was shit. No it hate. was so <laughs> So like I'm mixed reviews here because I'm dumb enough to accept that. So I found it quite funny, but I can understand also. It was a bit cringy at times and it was a bit weird and like the stuff they were saying if it came from anybody else wouldn't be accepted so you know yeah if Raz said that you wouldn't laugh yeah because that's because Raz is saying it and he's a fucking but this last was great and we're gonna go see her tomorrow very good yeah star of the show you were like oh let's go to rock man I'm thinking you know like I've just remembered like, go on it's shit in here yeah but there's an upstairs yeah is it good you're for a piss yeah yeah another pair of people who have tried to use the edible Freak's website and I've been like, oh there's no location there. There's no location. So they've given up. So they've given up. Who's given up? Where's the FBI had it from? So shit. That last has rough shoes on I don't want them, I found them. Do you know what it feels like in here? Shit. Just in purgatory. Yeah, so why are we still here? Big up Scotland for recognising the chew drink. White claw, baby. Ooh. <laughs> I've watched too much cabaret. <laughs> Does have a fringe yeah, venue you know sign. It's a fringe venue. venue three so, you one know three. You know what? Fair enough. Right, so we are going to a fringe yeah, club evening. With our press pass. I was asleep last night and I'm stood in a dark room with only minimal lights but I'm still squinting and that's when you know it's time to dip. Well the first day at Edinburgh Fringe has been interesting. Um, not really sure. I, I think it's been pretty good but I guess we'll uh, we'll catch up in the morning. The hive is shit. It's too sweaty. They play club bangers, but like from ten years ago, and then they'll throw something in that you just don't know. So. He's actually incorrect. It's playing very current music, and yeah, it was good. Song it like was eight years it, ago. It was too warm. Have you had a good night? It's been really good. Yeah, um, we had a bit of a slow start. We got shit club with a the metal. <laughs> then hive was good. There was a yeah. lot of like. Lads, you know, the big lads were, uh, Johnny Bravo wannabes. Yeah, but you know what I mean. The, 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 that's why Danny was in there. They got that. Um, they got that lean. They got that hard shoulder. You know, it's like. I've ordered eight bottles of water because you know what? Hydration isn't a fucking joke, and, and people need to realise this. Have a water. Hey, leave my two in there, mate. I'm yeah. in the hotel. When you order it on a pizza. You expect it to be actually baked into the pizza with the, like the cheese on top or something, so it's just done me, which I'm not too unhappy about to be honest. It's, but... it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, but... I mean, they both look nice. Like, I will enjoy it. I asked for it crispy, and you know what? It looks good that the actual pizza, but you know, baking, you know what I mean? First night at uni, a freshman. Freshmen. Freshers. Oh, freshers yeah. and freshmen are the same thing. Oh my god. No, Guys, you're going the wrong way. Viewers of our podcast will find that really funny. Hey, it's been so nice to meet you all. We're going to oh. be brothers. What? Huh? God, this is a bit not so nice to meet you, man. I don't know what that hey, was. What room are you in? Maybe I'll fucking move. Hello, my name is Jane Walker, and I'm going to start by addressing the obvious thing. I know 
that I am fat. <laughs> I have got working mirrors in my house, so I am well aware of the fact that I am more bloated than a Tory MP's expenses claim. I recently discovered Hero Wars, and let me tell you, this game helps me to take a break. In Hero Wars, you can raid bosses with friends or guildmates, strategize on the go, and engage in PvP battles for the top leaderboard spot and loot. It brings back memories of the great MMO era. From a single player story campaign and titan battles to exciting expeditions and a roguelike tower. You can assemble heroes into teams and find the best synergies. Join over 100 million players and get tips from veterans. The game is available on any device. Old school players should check out the browser version, but mobile players can play on any device. Download the game using the QR code on screen right now or using the link in the description to take a break. It's quarter past eight and I've woke up early. Don't want to do that, I've had less than six hours sleep because my tummy was rumbling and I had to have a massive poo. So I'm just gonna get up. Can't be asked sitting in bed anymore. Uh, I'm off to Morrison's. I need some shower gel. Probably gonna get some little cafe lattes for them lot as well. Wake us all up this morning. There's no one here. So it's a weird question, this. Um, very weird question. But your bum hole and nose linked by the, the connect in any possible way because every time I go for a shit my nose starts running I'm not a fan of walking around a, uh, a supermarket by myself in a new city because you get weird looks because you know, for some reason people just know you're not from that city that was a uh, semi-successful trip to the shop there I got my shower gel so Ben and me can have a wash um, I also picked up a toothbrush got some what's the stuff you put under your hands De uh, deodorant so this is a scotch pie this is a mini one, they're fucking lovely, and I ain't had one since I lived here, which was, when the fuck did I live here? I left 2016, so it's been a solid eight years since I've had one of these, I'm, I'm dead excited. That's so shit. I must have bigged that up in my head so much. That's wank. Good morning, folks. We are prepared today. We've got a stacked day booked on the Fringe website. We just paid for everything like normal people because that's easier, it turns out. And uh, we've got entertainment throughout the whole day. I've already said good morning to him. Oh, nice I've, one. I've been up since like eight. Uh, Perfect. Well, that time you're putting some <laughs> grass up with him. They had a nice time, didn't you? Thanks for that coffee. It was nice. Yeah, lovely. I don't know if you've ever found your first grape view, but it's a scary situation. You start looking at it and you're like, fuck, it's over. <laughs> and I'd start looking at it and see your life flash before your eyes. I mean, it was in a kebab, but still, it makes you think. I was just about to do some vlogging, actually, but you're here now. Well, yeah, I'll vlog for you. Um, there you go. I just want to say good morning, because I've not said good morning yet. Morning. It's a beautiful, sunny Saturday morning. We're on the Royal Mile. It's pretty busy. And I wanted to get across some thoughts, Dan. And you've really signed up for some here. Okay. I'm still thinking about the burlesque show from last night. Oh, and I don't know you what, would be. I distinctly remember referencing the Google Air Power Lot. So this is going to be an API-free day today. Oh, thank God. But I just, it was just a bit rubbish. And I totally respect and I love, like, do your burlesque show and do your act and do it on, like, fair play to you. you you're more confident than I am. But it was just a bit, eh. But we did see some very good comedy, and we're going to see her again at half past two, not at the county house. Look at, look at the world's smallest kite. <laughs> yeah. So at, uh, why not? There was a squashes van, which we'd never seen anywhere before, and it's here. And keen eye viewers will see the number plate's clever as well. Let's get some squash. Look at that, eh? For free. So you said we're going to the world's smallest pub. They must have changed the sign. I'm sure last time I came it said uh, the world. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl anyway, yeah? There's also a debate about um, whether paedophiles should be allowed to have uh, child sex robots. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> now call me old fashioned. No. Fuck <laughs> it. quiet, you pro nonce, is that what's happening? Hey, Dan, we're in the world's smallest pub, what do you reckon? It's not that small. It's no. not that small. The one in Manchester is five times as small. I mean, look how big it is, and it is absolutely massive. It's so much room. I just want to say I can stand, I'm six foot six and a half, and I can stand up straight. He's also not the tallest guy this weekend, so we, we saw someone that must have been at least eight foot. <laughs> What the hell are they doing? What are they doing? They're all wearing headphones, so it seems like it might be some like silent disco thing. The thing is though, it's like in your head, it's gonna sound great. Yeah. But like I've seen them do it in like Manchester and stuff. You look dumb. I was gonna say, you might want to take your hand 
Um, so basically we were just in the line to see this Catherine uh, comedian that we um, saw a little bit of last night and um, he was obviously firing for his own show but it was really nice because just like gave us directions to find this venue and I don't know, cool vibe, cool vibe around it guys. We just tried to come see a show, got here about 15 minutes before, um, there was a queue and we basically just missed it, it, it got to capacity. It was a free show so it's not ticketed and free shows are good but this is kind of the issue if you don't buy a ticket you're obviously not guaranteed a spot so you have to come quite a bit earlier to make sure that you get in like we've realised so we're just kind of sat in our we just bought drinks and we're not watching any comedy so because we missed who we wanted to see um, we're going to go and see the show of the nice man that gave us the flyer and told us how to get in Rob's just fucked off to the toilet lights are going down He's going to walk back in, in the middle of this. I went for a piss just before the show started. I didn't want to disturb it during. And um, then when I came back, the door was closed and I can't get back in, which is kind of annoying because I left my beer in there. So I'm on my own for an hour. That whole thing was a shambles for me. Literally arrived just too late to see the last we wanted to see. Then got locked out of my backup. But we're in Edinburgh, so I've thought of somewhere fantastic where I can go. And it's probably good, actually, because no one else would probably be interested in this, except maybe Ben. What are you looking at? Is he a therapist? Is he a therapist? He's getting hands-on. I love it. What's your favourite muscle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've never heard of it, Alex. <laughs> As many of you will know, I'm not a religious man. I do think that if I had to have a place of worship, it would be here. It's just so beautiful, and I can't wait for a year's time when I can fully engage myself in what the people in this building are, are, are doing. That's not where I studied. Um, I, I studied philosophy. I love philosophy. I love everything I know at the University of Life. Um, also, I have a BA from York. And so, <laughs> very exciting. And I want to talk about the philosophy of shame. They really are doing the Lord's work. There's a lot of security here, to be fair, which is a shame because I wanted to spend a little bit longer. But um, I mean, what would I really do? Sit outside, show them my tattoo? Probably not. That was worth a 20 minute sprinted walk for sure. So that night, jokes weren't really working, but there was a guy in the front row who was giving off such good energy. So I was like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to chat to him, that'll get, get the party started. So I said, I like you, sir. You've got a twinkle in your eye. And then he said, I've got conjunctive arthritis. <laughs> In my hunt for food, I've had to settle for the worst. The worst of the high street. The, whoever likes it here, you're so wrong. And I implore you to expand your horizons to like Mackey's or Nando's or Wingstop. And I studied philosophy at university. I did philosophy and theology. So the job hunt was like really good fun. <laughs> Do you know what really good? If I'm a huge advocate and a huge fan of like stand-up comedy. Absolutely love it. Really happy to be here. But the mix of like stand-up with a more like if, if stand-up is like a reflection on like a subjective reflection of like society and life, right? We're getting deep now. The phil philosophical aspect of it is like uh, turning the lens back on itself. For some reason, Ben's taking like ten minutes to tell you about this act. Number one, blow. He was funny, did very jokes about rocks, very good. Number two, girl, very funny, very like good. really good. Big ears, quite pretty. That was their whole thing about the Lord of the Rings. Number three, is slow, not bad, not amazing. Um, the kind of person I'd have a, an argument with very easily. <laughs> These are so nice. Ben, I got some of those Mentos again. Did you buy two? Why would I buy two? Oh, oh no, I got one yesterday. Yeah, but why well, Why do you have some now? Yeah. And then you buy another set. Yeah. I don't know why I call them Mentos a set. Buy another packet, and then you can take it home, and then it's Mementos. Ooh, I'm 
I'm so vegan, I can't get a crack with everybody else. Dan, what we have to see? So we'll have to watch an artist called Baby Bell, who's doing a young, dumb and I've full of autism. Fridge. You didn't let me finish before you butted in. Typical it's it's a big one though, it's like I got it from Snowbobbing. What, young, dumb and full of autism? No, Baby Bell. Oh, I'm really uncomfortable, um, physically and emotionally. This is a STEM friendly show and you are welcome to use any tools you may need or want in order to enjoy the show comfortably. Your money will fall into my hands and I will bankrupt you for my own self gain. I don't sleep, so I make sure you don't either. I will make it virtually impossible for your family to easily attend a temple, a birthday party, a public park, without a struggle, without embarrassment, without pain. So we've just watched Baby Bell um, do their performance. What was it called? Young, Dumb and Full, Full of, of Autism. autism. Um, it was very informative. I wasn't expecting it to be that informative. Um, gives you a lot of insight into how autistic people work, masking other parts of their life. Really, really quite good actually. I was loved, laughing at some of it. Loved I loved the crowd interaction where we all got to meow as well. Yeah, it was it was actually really good. I we didn't know what to expect, but you know, God bless. I really like that it was person. great. It was really good. <laughs> Got really nice hair. Nice hair, nice voice, nice instruments. This is the vibe that I wanted for like, this time in the afternoon. So you're happy now, finally. I'm very I'm happy. All the Can't time. take you anywhere. Why not have to be happy about? You're asking me, am I? Do you really want me to answer that? Leeds Fest on Wednesday with all my best mates and Vals is coming as well. <laughs> I'm in Edinburgh. Got a light in my hand. I'm off to the silent disco. You're asking me, am I happy? You know I'm not. It sounds pathetic, but the earliest memory I have of being jealous is seeing a car coming up through Puyo and it had a nodding head dog <laughs> in the window. Just a wee bobblehead figure, you know, because we, we had to get my grand to sit in the back, she had Parkinson's, so that was as close. <laughs> right then, folks, it's time for the penultimate act of fringe for us. Guru doo doos something or other. I'll write it on the screen now. Sounds uh, a bit like uh, when you start in a car and it won't go. <laughs> So what we're doing now is we're going to go get some beers from Tesco, shove them in the back pocket. So when we're doing the Guru Doo Doo thing, oh, I haven't told you what it is, but it looks insufferable. Check this out. Right, here goes nothing, Mez. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic, this. Yeah. As long as they don't take our drinks off us, because we are walking through Edinburgh and I'm not, I'm pretty sure that'll be illegal. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. Where are you guys from? The Leeds. What? Leeds, oh, yeah. Oh, I know Leeds. I love Leeds. It's a single trip. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I've literally just put my headphones on and I'm already loving this. It's great. So there's 57 people that are going to be what? joining us on this walking tour. Turn the volume button up. Now, it it's been so busy walking around these streets and I can only imagine how annoying it must be for everyone who encounters us. Just yeah, dancing and, you know, like getting a, like in the a, way. It's going to be a right laugh. <laughs> Okay, I like to move it, move it. You like to <laughs> move it! We've only just set off and this is the best thing we've done all weekend. This is incredible walking through crowds, just shouting the song. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Back again. Yeah! 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 The dancing queen. The lights are low. Looking out for a place to go. Excellent utilization of headphones. I imagine the cost of headphones and a microphone isn't that much. Great concept. Guru Dudu. I will do again. Very clever, very cool. Nice. Just 
give me a call. It's driving me crazy, my obsession for the western. My dance all day, my rodeo, rodeo. Love a couple of little jokes, we'll make your mind get in line. Five, six, seven, eight. And I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who doesn't know the lyrics to this shitty song. Not yet, not yet, not yet with the da 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 da. You've ruined it for everyone. Da 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 Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters. God, this sounds absolutely mental when you take your headphones off. This is insane. And do it, and do it, and do it, do it, do it, do it. I've got a feeling. As long as we don't get told off by the Rosses. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Say, uh oh. Mass stereo right now. Well, that was exceptional. Can that I, was so. Can I just say something? That was infinitely better than it had any right to be. That was like empowering. Imagine. No, it, I get what you mean. No, I do the, get it. Having it gave you confidence. As, as someone who's a shy, walking well, around. You are shy, and you are. A Shut up. <laughs> this, I really want to make this point. Right, make it. Walking around Edinburgh, just singing, I'm not giving a fuck. I mean, so many people watching and filming, and it was so good for like the soul. That was in, that was one of the best things that I've ever done. I burnt 376 calories during that dance, and I've got to say, incredible. One of the best memories we'll ever make. That. Yeah. that one. And she was fantastic. Yeah, and brilliant. You know, and do you know what Mary's exactly right? Because I initially I was a bit self-conscious, like because. I knew other people couldn't hear stuff, but within 10 minutes, <coughs> I would just vibe it. It just really, you should do a Guru Doo Doo, guys. Best silent disco I've ever seen yeah. until we do Leeds in a couple of years. Hey, um, Leeds Festival, get Guru Doo Doo in. The ability to like, for that to just remove self-consciousness and just let you just literally enjoy the moment is <laughs> unreal. Very good. So we're finishing the night tonight with um, Red Raw at the stand, and I'm a big fan of Red Raw because it's basically the, the stand. I you were vegan. You're though. going Red Raw tonight. Oh, what's okay. that name? I thought you were in with Dan. Hey, not tonight. <laughs> okay. Not in my bed, you're not. <laughs> Have you finished, guys? Yes. I thought to... you wanted some comedy. I'm trying. I'm trying to educate the list, the audience here, Can not you the do listeners. It in under 15 seconds. Yeah. Challenge. So basically, <laughs> Red Raw is a comedy night at the stand, and it's really good because it introduces like new acts and stuff. Usually, it's on like a Monday or Tuesday, like the least popular nights however during the fringe the stand are doing it for like the full duration of the fringe and they're calling it the best of red raw we're gonna see it tonight i think it's been really cool yeah i am helping to make the one i have done a video watch me look i've been to the stand and seen some comedy all so we've seen comedians all weekend pick on people on the front row so we've sat on the front row this time hopefully we get picked on and it's really funny. We're, uh, we're so front row, I can touch it with my feet. Your shit, we're great. We shared your wives, we scored a goal. And up in Glasgow more, it's like, ha ha, remember the farming? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the queen! <laughs> hey, I'm quite old. I'm not going to get into numbers, but I will put it this way. I'm around about the same age as Leonardo DiCaprio. I want to say anybody, okay? Oh, it's nice being here. I like getting out of the fucking house because I have recently become father, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Right, we're halfway through Red Raw. We're in an intermission. I'm a bit fucked, man, can you tell? Um, very good so far. We've had three comedians, uh, two gents, one lady, and then the host, I think. I could be wrong. I don't fucking know anymore. But all three, very good. The last one was really fucking funny. So we were sat over there 
actually, but throughout the whole set, they had a light on up there. Shining right in our eyes like a stage light. Lights are blind in my eyes. You know when you can feel your migraine coming on. I've been rubbing the old temples, but luckily we've moved to an even better spot, even more. Front this is row. too front row this for me. Fucking moving about. Yeah, the usual one there. That light, mate, is awful. Oh, you should try fucking standing under the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the deal here? Because like, you, you, you look like you're in quite a cool band, and then you look like the band's accountant. <laughs> <laughs> look after the money. Oh, there you go. Good for you, man. What's the story? How did you on the wing, Sal? Uh, he's my brother. He's your and brother. We're all just mates. You know, just yeah. mates, alright. Eh? We're here for a good time, man. Just getting called out for looking like an accountant. <laughs> you, he's taking us really personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, listen, you know, I was just saying you could be a rich guy. Well, I've got to know that. Maybe stay. What do you actually do then? I work in IT. You work in IT, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why that hurt you so much. Joe, you know you're on the Wi Fi, yeah? Yeah, I'm on the Wi Fi. Everyone's using Wi Fi. Alright. <laughs> oh, that was like an achievement, are you? Yeah, I'm just by myself. Fair enough, are you? <laughs> Fucking condensated wife, anyway, what about you? What have the other three of you done then? <laughs> what have you done? What's your story? Oh, loads of stuff. Loads of stuff. What are you, what are you currently doing? Uh, watching you. Watching me? Oh, fucking hell, are right? you? <laughs> you think I won't break you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey Bobby, what is the French for bobbing in? What? Hey Bobby, what is the French for bobbing in? Chris! <laughs> no, I'm no, chicken, chicken, chicken! <laughs> hey, you were gonna French him! <laughs> said live music on door, there's live music over there. Seems like it might be all right. Well folks, we've reached the end of the night with a hot dog. It's not a hot dog. What? It's not a hot dog, it's bratwurst. Whatever they call it. I was born in Germany, so I should know. Yeah, so I should have been. Finish the night with a bratwurst. I guess we'll see you in the kitchen. What's going on with your leg? It's the nice. guy gave me my fucking uh, sausage with, uh, like, give me some onions, like, you, like I asked for originally. Pop the onions on, pop the mustard on, put the ketchup on, eating it. Big solid chunks of onion just fell off, covered in mustard and ketchup onto the leg. It can't be helped. A lot of that like, is superfluous information, what, though. What, it? Cause you, what you did is you you made you brought up the guy that made it, but what you meant not to say really is superfluous. you, you spilled. Oh, superfluous. Rob trying to use a big word to try and yeah. Why don't you try and get that mustard out of your hair as well? Why don't you yeah. try get? Yeah. I'm trying to get you out of my fucking hair because yeah. you're doing my fucking head in. Right. Shut up. Let's, let's right. go to uh, bed. Let's not bicker. I've got a question. Yeah. <laughs> what about this leg? <laughs> <laughs> hey. That must be the guy's fault as well. Uh, no, it wasn't. Int I'm trying introduce to the enemy early in the, I'm in the conversation. I'm painting a picture. Yeah. You're the fucking enemy. It looks like you're painting your hair. We must have. Right then. What do we think of the fringe? Personally, it was all right. Um, I've been home now for a day. And it was a fun enough weekend. But it's not something I'd be eager to return to. While I do like stand-up comedy as much as just the next man. It's not something I'm super passionate about. I was also surprised how safe a lot of the comedy was um, and how whenever there was kind of a, a little bit of a kind of, you know, edgy joke that the audience just didn't really laugh at any time, um, which was kind of cringe for me. But it is a nice little trip away. Edinburgh's a beautiful city and um, if you know you want to go up there with the missus for like a weekend um, and you can get the website to work, I would say definitely give it a go. We certainly had a good time. It was better than not going. It was better than staying at home. Um, but I would have preferred to go to a music festival, of course. But in the interest of bringing you something a little different, as you requested, um, there you go. 
Covering it is hard. I don't really know what the etiquette was. Are you allowed to film the comedians? Are you not? I mean, in a sense, we're giving them a tiny amount, admittedly, but a little bit of exposure. So I suppose that's a good thing. I can't really see a negative to it, but I don't know what the etiquette is, which is why there's not tons of footage of acts in this video. Um, but yeah, that's it. Now we got some big fucking ones coming up. So uh, I'll hand over to the next guy. I personally loved it. Um, I would do it again, 100%, but this time I would make sure it's really well planned out and I don't think two days is long enough um, to see anywhere near the amount that Fringe has to offer. Um, there's so many different categories of, of acts and yeah, the ones I did see, I enjoyed for the most part. The best one was the Guru Doo that was one of the best things I've ever done. So I love Fringe. I would check it out if you can. Goodbye. Edinburgh Fringe Festival, was it any good? Well, I'd have to say, it's all right. I mean, there's better ways to spend a weekend, maybe going on like a proper holiday. But like, it was all right. There wasn't that much going on. I mean, the comedians weren't even that funny sometimes. I mean, they, they tried to pull me on stage and goes, come on, you're funny and you're handsome. But I said, no, come on, mate. I'm here just trying to enjoy myself. Uh, anyway, yeah. Well, folks, an interesting video for sure. Thank you so very much for watching, especially if you've watched all the way to the end. I cannot stress my appreciation for that. I love long form YouTube content, it is exclusively what I watch and um, sometimes I'll turn it off a little bit before the end even though I love it so much so thanks to you lot for sticking around. A huge thank you to all the names on screen, these are our Patreon supporters, five tier and up. I love and appreciate each one of you, the, you know, people like yourselves voting with your wallet for independent content creation. It literally keeps us going and it's why in the next few weeks you're going to see some really, really big stuff. Um, I mean, stuff that you expect, there's no big surprise or anything, but, you know, we've got Leeds Fest coming up, which is always a big video, and we've got a nice but simple concept for that video, which I think you'll really, really enjoy. I think it's long overdue. And then, God help me, God help you, Burning Man. So we need to make as much noise as we can about Burning Man. Uh, there's a lot on our side, so I expect to see some little teasers coming soon, because it cost a fucking house deposit, and, um... I ain't no homeowner right now, but um, that's just how much it cost. Um, what else? Fringe? Not bad. Not great. Strange video for us, but something a little different. Uh, you know, I I try and stay away from like social media about us. Uh, aside from like, I look at my own Instagram, I look at my own Twitter, uh, and I look at the YouTube comments. But like, I don't look at any of the TPD socials. That's uh, other people that manage that. But sometimes stuff does get through to me and. I did, uh, was made aware that people had floated the idea, not necessarily a complaint, but just floated the idea like how long do they really have left doing music festivals, it'd be good to see them do something different. And while I know for a fact that there is, um, you know, tons more mileage in music festivals, um, we thought why not, why not give it a whirl and also kind of give ourselves, you know, this is kind of the closest thing to like a week off that I've had since uh, certainly since like early June um, and while it's not a week off it's um, you know the closest thing is it's kind of local as in it's in the country it's an easy train ride direct train no fucking about uh, nice and easy in the city centre so we kind of timed it for this so that we could give you that and uh, also kind of recharge the batteries while still obviously keeping the, the ship afloat recharge the batteries ready for these next two five day monster events I love you all so much and my life would be nothing without you lot I live to bring you this content and I'm very blessed to have you the funniest thing this weekend was us doing that fucking ad read I will see you next week at Leeds um, hope to meet some of you there lots of love and till next time bye bye is it Lord or Lordy? <laughs> L.M. Mastodon. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> Put it back on. Jesse 